I want to grow up to be big and strong. You will, you will. But what if I am inherently weak? Then we will fix you. You will? We have the technology. All it will take is a lot of money or time. Ladies, gentlemen, and trainers of all ages, your Pokemon are your friends. They grow alongside you and travel with you on your journey, and they give their all just to see you smile when you succeed. If you care about the strength of your Pokemon, which honestly you definitely will if you care about anything else, of the story content, as higher level terror raids are brutally difficult, and playing PvP properly without a fully built team is just shooting yourself in the foot, or I guess shooting your Pokemon in the foot. Why would you do that, you monster? There are two ways to create the perfect Pokemon, the perfect buddy. The first is through breeding, making your Pokemon go at it with each other at the family picnic while everyone's watching until they plop out an egg, and through a long and difficult process, you can create a little one that is actually pretty much perfect. Perfect IVs, the correct nature, the correct ability, all of it. And the other way to do this is through hyper training. The big difference here is that hyper training lets you do this with the Pokemon that you already have. The ones you already have formed some sort of connection with and you've already named and gotten used to. Through hyper training, you can change your existing Pokemon's base IVs, their nature, their ability, and even their Terra type, which is an incredible amount of customization. And all of these things are simply done with items that you can get along your journey. First up then, let's talk quickly about what IVs are. These are your stats and your ability to grow them every time that you level. Pokemon have six distinct statistics and each has a different IV. The higher your IV, the higher your stats will be at level 100, and of course this will show along the path of getting them there too. Once you have completely finished the story of Pokemon Violet or Scarlet, you will unlock the Judge function. With this, when you are looking at a Pokemon and press the plus button, you will judge their IVs. With this, you can see the quality of each stat according to the game. These qualities range from no good all the way at the bottom, all the way up to best, which is at the top. And the range between the two is actually pretty significant. The difference this makes at full level is massive, and it can be the difference of over a hundred points of a statistic depending on the Pokemon. So it is clearly quite important. So how do we change our IVs then? The answer to that question is quite simply, bottle caps. These items are more plentiful within this game than they have been in any other Pokemon game in the past really, as you can get just straight up buy them from Delibird Presents in any town once you have beat the 8 gyms. 20,000 Poké Dollars a piece, and with each bottle cap you can upgrade one stat to best. As well, you can actually get these items for free as a rare drop from completing 5 star or 6 star terror raid battles, which you also unlock in the late game. On top of this, once you have unlocked 6 star terror raid battles, these have a super low chance of even dropping an item called the gold bottle cap, which you can use to get all 6 perfect IVs in one go. So now that you know how to get the bottle caps, how do you use them once you've got them? Well just head over to the town of Montanavera, and just slightly north of the Poké Center is an NPC with sunglasses. Talk to them and you can trade these bottle caps in for your stat changes. Easy right? Nothing to it. Another important part of making your Pokémon strong is their nature. There are 25 different natures in the game, 5 of them do nothing, but the other 20 will raise one stat by 10% while lowering a different stat by 10%. That is a significant difference and quite important to get right for your Pokemon, but if you just catch them in the wild, they will literally just have one of these 25 at random. In Scarlet and Violet, you can actually manually change the nature of a Pokemon that you already have using a specific item, referred to as Nature Mints. Each of these has its own name, and their names refer to which nature it can impart. Quite simply, if you have one of these mints, feed it to a Pokemon, it will change which stat is boosted and which one dips. It won't change what it says is the nature of your Pokemon, but you can see with the red arrow going up and the blue arrow going down on your actual stats that these stats have changed. If your Pokemon focuses on physical attack, the ideal one to have is probably generally adamant, which raises your physical attack while lowering your special attack, as an example. As far as getting these nature mints, it is actually quite easy to do in Scarlet and Violet, as once again, once you have completed all eight gyms, you can just simply buy them for Poke Dollars. The these instead come from Chansey Supply, these stores are in most major towns, it's easy to find, just zoom in until shop signs show up and then figure out the nearest one to you. Here is a Delibird presence as well, just so you can see what the symbol looks like, and on top of that, they also drop from 5 and 6 star terror raids. So again, while you can buy these, they are actually plentifully available from other sources if you want to save your money for something else. With that, we have two more sources of hyper training available, the first of which are ability capsules and ability patches. To get the capsules, these are a 
rare drop from 5 star and 6 star terror raid battles, and you can of course also buy them from the Chansey Supply Shop's general goods section for 100,000 Poke Dollars apiece. When you use this item on a Pokemon, it will let you choose between its two simple abilities. For example, between Break the Mold or Own Tempo on Tinkaton. This lets you choose the ability that most fits your goals with your Pokemon and eliminate some of the RNG of making your Pokemon perfect once more. On top of this, most Pokemon also have a third ability that you can't get through this method called a Hidden Ability. These are super rare to find on wild Pokemon, but you can also force them out using an item called the Ability Patch. This only drops from 6 star Terra Raids and is quite a low drop rate, but generally these hidden abilities tend to be quite strong. For example, King Gambit, a new evolution for Bisharp in Scarlet and Violet, can normally choose between Defiant or Supreme Overlord, but the hidden ability that it has is called Pressure, which causes the enemy Pokemon to use more PP every time that they use an attack on you. Heh, <laughs> PP. Finally then, we have Terra Types. Terrastalizing is a new mechanic in Scarlet and Violet, it is unique to the Paldean region, and what it does specifically is give you an extra same type attack bonus, or stab bonus as it's referred to, in a specific element, while also changing your resistances. The average Pokemon that you catch will have a Terra Type that matches its base type, and if it is a duo typing it will have a 50% chance of having either Terra Type. If your Terra Type matches your base type, you will get a stubble bonus on your attacks. But if what you want to do has higher end content, you may want to mess around with that just a bit, as the ability to switch to a third type on the same Pokemon is sort of invaluable, both letting you use different moves with the stab bonus, or even letting you resist things that you would normally be weak to. You can of course find wild Pokemon with unique Terra types, and the Pokemon that you catch at the end of Terra raids as well will have a unique type of Terra as well based on the raid that you did, but you can also force Pokemon that you already have to have a different Terra type entirely by using Terra Shards. There are Terra Shards for every different type, and you can find these littered all around Area Z the endgame area of the map, as well as getting them as rewards for doing higher tier Terra raids. If you want to change the Terra type of your Pokemon, you need to gather 50 of the specific Terra Shard you want. Say you want to change your Terra type of a Pokemon to Fire, you need 50 Fire Terra Shards. Once you have those gathered, head to the town of Medali located here, and go to the Treasure Eatery restaurant on the easternmost corner of the town, and talk to the chef located inside. Tell them what you want, and they'll whip it up faster than a frozen meal in a microwave. And that's it then. With with that, you know how to give every Pokemon that you want perfect IVs for all six different stats. You know how to change your Pokemon's nature to make it boost and decrease the ideal stats for you as well. You know how to change the ability of a Pokemon has, even to its hidden one. And you also know how to change the Terra type of any Pokemon that you own. Pretty much every one of these things is locked behind at minimum defeating the eight gym leaders, with some of them locked behind finishing the story as a whole. So if you are earlier on in the game, just really just don't worry about this too much at all. It won't affect you massively until you start to get your team kitted out for raid battles and PvP anyways. I hope you've enjoyed this guide on everything to do with hyper training in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below, and we'll try to answer them. And I hope that you all enjoy making your favorite Pokemon just as strong as hell, rather than just dealing with them being weak but using them anyways because you love them. Like if you liked the video, subscribe with the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye